Almost exactly a year ago, I released a lesson on my most popular course I've ever done, the Real Estate Crash and Cycles course. And the video lesson was called A Golden Opportunity in Real Estate, where I taught my students the difference between the price of gold versus the Case-Shiller Index and what's happened through the last handful of decades and the last handful of real estate downturn cycles and the price of gold. That day that the lesson came out, gold had just touched $2,000 and had confirmed its next bull run. And that is why I put out the course. I'm gonna give you a little clip of that lesson right here for you to check out before I tell you why it's very important. Up. And let's show you this chart. Actually, we'll pull up right now a chart of the gold price. And this is brought to you by goldprice.org. And you could see right here in 2008, gold was sitting around $700 an ounce. Now, if I would have bought it then, that would have been amazing because real estate was years from hitting its bottom. And as you can see, at the time that real estate was hitting its bottom between 2010 and 2012, gold was sitting from, it went from 700 when Lehman Brothers collapsed to a high of around 1900 and something dollars, some change. My point being is this, if I would have bought a single ounce of gold at $700 and later sold it for $1,900 and then taken that and bought real estate that had gone down considerably in that same amount of time, my wealth would purchase more real estate. We're gonna get a little deeper into that in the comparison, it's really excited. But I want you to also, as we've got that chart up for uh, the gold price, look at where gold is now. Before anything's been announced, this massive recession that's supposed to be on the way, the hard landing, or sometimes people think the soft landing, gold is sitting above where it was in 2011. Now check this out. The real estate uh, to, rate, to gold ratio measures the amount of gold it takes to buy a single family house. Based on the pioneering research of Robert Schiller and Carl Case, they made it the Case-Schiller Home Price Index. It's generally considered the leading measure of US residential real estate prices. The index has a base of January of 2000 equaling 100 and is multiplied by 1800 in order to approximate the average sales price of houses sold in the United States. The ratio has an interesting historical track record for identifying turning points in long-term gold price trends. When exactly is one of the assets cheap and what is expense expensive? Now answering that question is where the gold to housing ratio chart comes up. It is quite useful and there's no dollar component in the ratio itself. Inflation concerns drop out and we are left to the value of the two most popular tangible investments relative to each other. So let's go ahead and pull up the gold versus the Case Schiller Home Price Index. I think this is very important. So first I want you to your eyes to go to where we were in 2006, where they have that little uh, spot saying 2006. You'll notice that the price of gold was not near an all-time high. As a matter of fact, you saw home prices peak out the Case uh, Schiller Home Price Index actually rose up into 2006 and topped and then started to gradually come down. Now I want you to first look at that black line. Right before 2006, you can see it was this nice upward steady movement. Look at where it is now past the year 2020. It is on a terror, absolutely going up at such a fast speed. Now, just like Newton's law of relativity, you gotta think about how fast something goes up is about how fast it's gonna go down. Now, you'll notice that gold was starting to trend upwards. The reason for this is because as the home prices were getting more expensive and as the Federal Reserve were raising interest rates, gold bulls were betting on the day that they turn around and lower rates. Why? Because when the Federal Reserve lowers rates, they're then put into a position where they're printing money, they're trying to stimulate the economy. One way is through interest rate reduction. Another way is through access to liquidity, through lending, right? The bulls know, the gold bulls know that when that happens, the price rises. So you'll see that the price started to rise even as housing peaked. But as housing started to drop and going into the Great Recession, you see that at 2011 is when gold prices peaked. Now, consequently, as years went by and the gold price started to trend down, you see that as the gold line's going down into 2015, 
2016, you see the housing market start to increase. But now this is where it gets very interesting and very important. You'll notice that uh, the gold price has started to rise about since 2019. And we are seeing even higher highs in the gold market, in the gold price, at the exact same time that real estate has risen. Now, we are at that moment, if you go back to the chart where it says 2006 in that little blue box, you could put that marker right where we are right now. This is the moment, right as real estate starts to turn, that gold is gonna become more valuable in dollar terms and produce more purchasing power for real estate as this cycle plays out. This is one way, if you start to buy gold properly, just like you would buy real estate property, properly, meaning, I don't buy numismatics, I think that's a total scam, and uh, I do not uh, pay these exorbitant rates for these uh, crazy uh, coins. I try and buy it as close to the spot price as I can because then I get more gold for my dollars. It's very similar to buying real estate without having a bunch of emotion tied to it. So a lot of people have been setting gold aside, me for one, I have mine vaulted, um, and it's important to know that the reason why I do that is because I am playing this exact index. Now, look at where we are today with gold hitting record high after record high after record high. It is now in the media like crazy. And at the same time, real estate is turning downward. Buyers are not showing up. It is definitely now a buyer's market. Sellers are capitulating. They are lowering their prices and the best is yet to come. But also remember that anybody that took that lesson and bought gold at $2,000 an ounce while they were waiting for the real estate downturn to start to accelerate are now wealthier on a percentage basis because gold has went from $2,000 an ounce to it's darn near at 2,800. My point for bringing this up is that I want to bring people the greatest opportunities ever. And there is something happening this next spring that will blow your minds. But the truth is most people won't even know it exists. So what I'm doing for the next around 24 hours I think is left, there's a link down below if you want to join the Real Estate Master Course, which is a collection of every single real estate course I have ever put out in the past and you have access to every real estate course in the future included. Plus, once a month live coaching group calls until June, once a month, to have your questions answered and to see these trends, just like I did for my students last year, showed them a golden opportunity to say that the next one coming this spring is bigger than that is an understatement. Check the link down below. I believe there's around 24 hours. Uh, sorry this video took so long to get out, but there is so much happening behind the scenes. We're working very diligently to get our next project out so that people can absolutely crush it all over the world, actually, might I say, all over the world in my next project. All right, with that being said, The Economic Ninja is out.